I was thinking about taking a dog for a walk. So, uh, Welcome to another whiskey review. As you saw from that opening sequence, it's blowing a hooli out there. It is 60, 70 mile an hour winds. Storm Chiara is battering the UK. And when the weather's like that outside, there's only one thing for it, and that is to crack open a bottle and have a dram. Now today I am gonna be reviewing another UK supermarket whiskey. This whiskey is from budget supermarket Audi. This is one I've seen reviewed on quite a few cha um, YouTube channels. It's one that pops up every now and then. It seems to me a few people have done it, but the two, two of the best reviews I have seen have been from both Ralphie and also from Vin at No Nonsense Whiskey. They both have very contrasting views on this, so let's see what my thoughts on it are. This whiskey is the Highland Black 8 blended Scotch whiskey from Audi. Now this whiskey is £12.99 for 70 centilitres. It is 40%. Now just by going on the bottle, the bottle is very nice. Obviously it's got the Highland stag on it that gives you the Scottish vibe from it. The colouration of the bottle, it's not super dark. I would say there is some colour in there. Definitely chill filled. No two ways about it. I'd say there's a slight hint of coloration in there. Uh, but it's, it's it's not overly amber, it's more of a goldy, beautiful goldy colour. Now, this is a special reserve, it is bottled in Scotland. You never can tell quite what are in these Audi bottles. There are probably whiskies in there from well-known distilleries, but because they are not being named, they can sell it at twelve ninety nine. Now twelve ninety nine is an absolutely cracking, cracking price for. It's an age statement for an eight year, age stated whiskey. Yes, it's blended, but that is a hell of a price. That really is. <clears throat> twelve pounds ninety nine. You don't get many whiskies for that in the UK. Obviously, you get your normal bog standard things. You can probably pick up your grants, etc. But they don't have age statements on. Not like this. The Highland Black. And with a name like black, obviously you would expect there to be smoke in there. So let's get on the palate and let's see what we can smell on the nose. Lemons. Zesty orange peel. Slightly woody smell, but it is the overriding smell of lemon zest, lemon citrusy, zingy, zesty type smell. You can see on the side, it, it has got legs. It is given some legs. Obviously, that's the eight year statement. There is an eight year whiskey in there. It's given it a little bit of viscosity, so it will hold on the glass, which to me says there's a slight oiliness to it, which means it should hopefully hold on the mouth and it should give you a longer finish, meaning the taste stays there a little bit longer. But, yeah. I would say there's a little slight nutty smell in there as well. Slight hint of smoke, but there's a slight nuttiness. But it is mainly the citrusy, clean, zingy, orange, lemony peel type smell. I'd say there's a slight nuttiness definitely, and I would also say you can smell a hint of smoke, but there's not a lot in there, not a lot at all. With a name like Black, I'd expect that to be a lot more smoky. I would expect there to be a lot more of a darker, darker smell to it. But there's not. It's surprisingly very clean, very fresh smelling. For twelve ninety nine, I suppose you can't really expect too much. You're not going to expect like your uh, anything like even Johnny Black's more expensive has double the price of this. You can definitely smell the smoke on that when you uh, put it to the nose. Whereas this, you can't. But hmm, for twelve ninety nine, what were you, what were, you know what were we expecting really? So let's get on the palate and let's see what it tastes like.
slight burn. There is definitely, that is fairly thick. That is a fairly long finish. I can still taste it. It's coated the lips, the tongue and the mouth. Slight oiliness to it. Now it finishes off with a slightly chemical, chemically taste. That is, that is overriding everything in a minute. Like a slightly chemically taste. Let's see if I can uh, pick out some more flavours on the initial, uh, initial sip. I am getting the fruits. A lot more darker. Dark fruits on the sip. Dark fruits. Smoke rolls over the tongue as well. You can definitely, definitely taste a woody influence. The finish is quite long, but there is a slightly metallic, chemically taste at the end. I mean, look at the legs on that. If you can pick that up, that is not bad. For £12.99, that is really good. Really, really good for £12.99. I was not expecting that. I really wouldn't. Yes, if you were to put it up against something like Johnny Black, Johnny Double Black, other whiskies of the lower price category with the name Black in them, this, it would still hold its own. Probably against Johnny Black, it would still be nipping on its heels. It's not quite as smooth and as rounded as the Johnny Black. But it's good. For 13, great British pound sterling. That is fantastic. It really is. I mean, on the Wal Ralphie video, I saw he added a spoonful of something else to this, like another whiskey to bring it out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to taste this as I find it and as I see it. Yes, it has a slight chemically taste afterwards. But... The more sips I drink, the more that taste seems to have disappeared. And it's being replaced with an oaky, smoky, pokey type taste. It really can taste that. And it's still hanging around the mouth. That is lovely. That really is. Still a slight, like I say, there is, right. Rolls over the tongue, you get the slight fruits, you just get dark fruits. You then find that there is the peat. You can definitely taste there is a peated whiskey in there somewhere because that tingles across the taste buds. The viscosity of it and the oiliness of it does hold it on the uh, inside of the cheeks, on the tongue, on the lips. You can definitely taste that it is a slightly older whiskey. Like I say there's an eight year old in there that gives it that influence. You can taste the wood. But underlying it all, you you do still get that metallic taste, which has, for thirteen pounds, you're not say you're not going to expect a superbly well-rounded risky whis risky risky whiskey. It is a risky whiskey when you're buying it for twelve pound ninety-nine, but that is not too bad at all. So, right, let's give it marks out of ten for twelve pounds ninety-nine. Marks out of ten for that lower end of the budget scale, slightly petered. I'm going to give that a seven point one. That's above average. And for the price that you're paying for that, that is good. That really is. If you haven't tried it yet and you think it's Aldi, it's not gonna be good, and you turn your noses up to it, just give it a go. Please give it a go. It is one that you will be most probably surprised by. You may not like it, but you may find that you now have a whiskey you can buy, which is of a cheaper price, that you can put in your cabinet, which you can go to for, I wouldn't say an everyday drink, because I don't drink it every day. Uh, but one you can go to for a quick dram if you fancy one in the afternoon or when you finish work. Not bad at all. So, £12.99, 7.1 out of 10 on the, uh, on the matte scale, so to speak. Not a bad whiskey. I'm going to leave that there. I'll be back soon with another view. You, take care, and I will see you soon.